We are in Backup Exec 20. I'm going to show you how to restore a file or a folder. Let's go ahead and highlight the server that we want to back up, uh, we, that we did back up, I should say, and we want to restore. Make sure you're in the Backup and Restore tab and click the Restore button. And a wizard comes up. And we have the option of restoring files, folders, and volumes, or the entire server. Now, if you're going to want to restore the entire server, you're going to want to make sure you're in safe mode. Otherwise, there are certain things you won't be able to restore, such as the system state. Let's go ahead and choose files, folders, or volumes, which we can do in regular Windows mode, and click Next. Now we have a few different choices. One is if we know the name of the file or folder, we can click Search. Or we can choose from a backup set. That would be from a set of different backups for that particular computer or to a point in time. Now, what I've found is, for the most part, the backups to a point in time or the backup set, they pretty much show the same information. So it doesn't really matter in most cases uh, which one you choose. So let's go ahead and click Next. All right, so here is the C drive of the server where we want to restore our data from. And we'll go ahead and expand until we find that particular file. So let's click on Desktop, and there it is. There's our test.txt file. Now, if we want to restore the entire folder, we can do that as well. So you can see this little line through the desktop. If I click it again, it's the check mark. And now the check mark will restore everything inside that uh, folder. If I uncheck it, it won't restore any. And if I just select a single file, you see it just has the hash instead of the check. But there is a check mark in my test.txt. So there's your three options, not restoring, restoring the entire folder with the check mark or with the hash where you select specific files. So let's just go ahead and select this one file. And we'll go ahead and click Next. And it won't take long at all. We'll just go ahead and choose the defaults here. Choose the defaults once again. And go ahead. There's a lot of different things to click through, of course. And click Finish. So now we should see that file get restored here shortly. We can see the restoration happening. And if we double click on it, we can see at the bottom the restore was successful. So that didn't take long at all. We'll go ahead and minimize that. And look at that. There is our test file right back on the desktop where we had deleted it before. But it had now been restored. So that's how you restore a file or folder in Backup Exec 20. There's lots of other videos in this particular playlist that get in all types of different scenarios with Backup Exec 20. So go ahead and take a look at those and see if they meet your needs. If you have any requests for a video, just go ahead and put it in the comment section.